Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, if you can tell by this lovely, I'm gonna actually take it out, this lovely, not the original book, actually, give me a second, give me one second. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Uh, if you couldn't tell by these books, the original book, and then the, the first, oh, I have it the wrong way, the first graphic novel, um, yeah, it's multiple books, deluxe edition, um, collector's, deluxe, collector's edition. Anyways, um, if you couldn't tell by these lovely books, I will be giving my review on Dune part two um but yes let me put these away yes i will be giving a spoiler free review because i actually granted this video is either coming out thursday or friday but i watched dune part two last sunday there was an advanced screening in my area and I was like oh yeah fuck yeah I'm going to sign up for this because I really enjoyed the first movie knowing nothing about it and I don't believe I made a trailer for the f not a trailer a review for the first movie I will say back when I used to work at a movie theater I kept seeing the Doom trailer over and over again and I was like I swear to god if I have to fucking hear the reverend mother be like put your hand in the box one more time I thought I was gonna lose it and when I actually watched the movie I was like I take everything I said back this movie was a masterpiece I have started reading the first book but I know everything not everything that's an over exaggeration I know a lot about what happened in Dune just from checking online and my boyfriend is also obsessed with it so he gave me some spoilers uh I was okay with the spoilers so it wasn't just randomly telling me it but I know uh what the major difference is between the film adaptation versus the original book um are and without spoiling anything in this review I thought uh Denis Villeneuve executed it perfectly the movie was so fucking good this is not an understatement i was sitting in the theater and i was like this is cinema i know it's like cheesy to say but it's like oh my god this is a spectacle this is amazing this is everything that hollywood thinks they are it's just i am so happy when we get a great director um who knows their vision so clearly they execute it well everything in the movie was perfect like i can't i took notes uh after the movie for both the spoiler and spoiler free review i'm actually watching it again tomorrow friday because i love it i obviously had to do an imax because is there any other way to watch such a great film no there's not. That was a rhetorical question. Uh, my point's not gonna be too many. That'll be for the spoiler review if you guys want to stay tuned. So follow, subscribe, like, tune in. It'll probably come out in a few days if I don't procrastinate, hopefully. Uh, but starting with the first point, this is very generalized, but it had a great plot, the acting, the directing, the cinematography, the script, the visual effects, like everything about it was incredible. I was in awe the whole time. There were only a few like uh, CGI scenes where I was like, you can tell that it's CGI, but it's still so like beautiful that it doesn't even matter. Like it and granted like vfx artists are overworked so i like when i give any like constructive feedback it's not me trying to bash them um because i know they're underpaid overworked their deadlines are fucking horrible so obviously if you're arresting someone you're not gonna get perfection but this 
was almost perfection. Most of it was perfect. Um, this is not a spoiler because it was in the trailer. Paul riding the sandworm in the trailer, the CGI, mwah, beautiful. It looks real. I'm like, okay, but anyways, leaving the spoilers for the other video, uh, I did note that um, Rebecca Ferguson, she was great in the first movie, but oh my goodness, she was so scary in this one. It showed how powerful and twisted the Benny Gesserit can be. Every scene with her in it, I was just like, damn, Lady Jessica, you are, you are cold. That is all I can say without spoiling anything. Um, the rest of the cast was perfect as well. Florence Pugh, brilliant as Princess Aurelian. Austin Butler as Fade Rotha, he was also really good. I just am speechless. I barely wrote anything for the spoiler free review just because I was so speechless. It's just, it's like you guys saw the book at the beginning. This is not a small book. This is like a big ass book. It's like 800 pages long. So obviously you couldn't condense it in one film. David Lynch tried to do that. I don't think it turned out too well. I tried to watch it. Sorry for anyone that liked the original movie. I just couldn't get into it. Um, but it is so hard sometimes to adapt something from page to screen, especially if you don't have the technology, which granted back then a lot of these scenes would have been hard to bring to life. But knowing what uh, Denny, Villene Denny Villeneuve um, left out and kind of changed, I feel like those choices he made were really smart and it still allowed him to kind of stay true to the story and still be able to execute uh, Frank Herbert's um, well, story. It, it was so good. Like, Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Javier Bardem, like those guys, they were brilliant. Um, I was really happy that we got more of Zendaya's Chani in this movie because in the first one, I remember when it came out, people were joking like, oh yeah, it was basically Zendaya being in a perfume ad because he was barely in it. But again, Denis, he was world building and I feel like it could be a little biased, like every review is subjective. Like, this is my own personal opinion. If you hated the movie, okay. You hated it, that is all right. What I'm trying to say is, granted, I might be biased, but I don't want to compare part one versus part two. Yes, was part two more of a spectacle in a sense? A hundred percent, I can agree on that. However, part one, there's a lot of world building and granted it was mostly just Arrakis but that was still like he Denis had to build up to the um the plot what was going to happen in part two like it wasn't like a oh yeah we're gonna take a while in part two for the main story to happen like no it was like full speed ahead the pacing was great but what I'm trying to say, um, again, speechless from the movie. It's hard for my words to come across. Um, I, I can't be like, oh yeah, the second one was so much better than the first one. Or, oh, I like the first one more than the second one. Because he was executing two different things. The first one, as he mentioned, he was world building. He was introducing us to the characters. We had to see what happened. Whereas in the second one, it's like, okay, now we're going to go with the prophecy. We're going to see what happens with the Fremen and everyone. That's one other thing I wanted to say. 
in the book, it's like all over the place in the sense that it goes from one character's perspective to another character to another character's. And that can be really hard to adapt to the screen. So I think he did an incredible job, again, knowing all of the changes that he did. It was still a phenomenal movie. Granted, I have not been like this huge Dune fan for like the past two decades, so obviously everyone will have their own opinion, um, especially if you're more attached to the original subject matter. But as someone that was just introduced to Dune back in, um, I think it came out in 2021, I am hooked. Denny, you better do Dune Messiah. I know what happens. And it is fucked. And I would love to see that come to life on the big screen. I know that he said that he's interested in doing that. And let's be real. The movie's gonna make some money. It's gonna do well. Um, but I know he, he's interested. But he wants to take a little break. And then do it. Which I also think is a great idea. Because... I believe Dune Messiah has a 13 year uh, time skip, so give the actors some time, let them age up a little bit, and we will be good. Uh, one thing, which by the way, let me know if you guys want a review of the first Dune movie, because I watched it last week to prepare myself uh, to Dune 2, because I was like, it's been a while, I want to like re-jog my memories, and... I was glued to my TV screen. I was like, oh, I was nervous. I wasn't going to like it the second time around. I'm like, no, this is a hit. Denis has done hit after hit after hit. Enemy, Arrival, Blade Runner, 2020, 20, I can't talk, 2049. He is a phenomenal director. He is now one of my favorite directors of all time. But let me know if you would like that review because I would love to do it. Oh, unrelated. Uh, I'll probably say this in my other videos as well. As someone who loves anime and Code Geass, I feel like Timothy Salome would be a brilliant Lelouch. Um, just because him and Paul are kind of the same in a way in terms of like they have to become the villain in a sense so hey they ever want to make that movie but we know typically uh live action anime adaptations are kind of shit netflix's uh death note but thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to them below comment down if you've seen the first doom Dune movie? Are you gonna watch the second Dune movie? Have you watched the David Lynch Dune movies? Uh, movie? Have you watched the sci-fi channel? Um, Dune miniseries? They adapted Children of Dune. Um, I looked at that on YouTube. James McAvoy was in it. It was quite interesting. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below and I will see you next time.